Yeah, Gene, what are you thinking? Do you think that W can it, 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 the Cubs fly the W flag? So it means win. But then when I see it, I think I wonder if some people think it stands for white power. <laughs> I don't. Uh, I don't. I don't. I don't think that's the thing, Gene. Okay. Well, I know, but do you think? Pe- Hopefully, people don't get that idea. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I think you're good. Okay, I think you're good, good on this. Yeah. All right, well, uh, Gene, this is the uh, this is called the uh, the Midwest Sports Show. I am so glad because that means I can talk about Iowa wrestling. Another great win. Iowa clinched the Big Ten uh, regular season title. They're undefeated, and it, and they're going into the Big Ten championship. And then NCAA ranked number one, and they haven't won since 2010. So please let this movie get a screen. I'm very excited. Watch every meet. I'm telling you. The Big Ten Network is awesome. I know people in the Midwest get it, but I didn't have it ever because I had uh, crappy cable. Now I got YouTube TV, and they have the Big Ten Network, and I'd pay anything for that. I don't get the NFL Network, and I'll take the Big Ten Network any day. And you've been set free, right? I've been set free. Now we just got to get the Cubs on. Marquee Network. They're doing the Marquee Network. Those guys, man, people in Chicago are not happy. Oh yeah, what's the uh, well? All right, so my well, let me, let me just say our yeah. names. My name is uh, Chris that's Stats. That's Gene that's Second. What um, well, what what's the talk of the it's town? Gonna be, so it's going to be an extra paid service like. So uh, WGN no longer has rights. Uh, Bozo, Harry Harry yeah. Carey, Bozo the Clown. Bozo Jack Brickhouse. Let's not forget him. Bozo is gone. Gone. WGN's still there. They have Dog the Bounty Hunter, who is not from the WF for a year or two, but. <laughs> The Cubs are going to be on this marquee network, and and they haven't come to an agreement. Kind of like the Dodgers. Dodgers are on Comcast, but they have not reached an agreement with DirecTV and all the other things yet. And they've been, for this is going on what six years, seven years? I'm not sure. And so, if you're a Dodgers fan, you only so, to watch the games, or you have to subscribe to our crappy Spectrum cable in LA, which is very expensive. So, how much is the uh, marquee network going to be? I don't <laughs> they haven't. They haven't said yet. No. They and the, and, that and it's supposed to be up and running. But. Gene, pitchers and catchers have reported. <laughs> I know. I know. And they don't even know Rickett, how much it's going to cost. Tom Ricketts talked to the media today, and he said uh, they're they're getting under the luxury tax. And then who's yeah, gonna who, know that, Tom. who's gonna want to watch it uh, during the off season during the I, fall? Yeah, I know. Well, look what the Dodgers do on Spectrum. They replay games from the regular season. Uh, no thanks, Don. Yeah, they, you know, they're going to show games from 1939. <laughs> That's really what I want to watch. C- Chicago uh, Cub games. Yeah. Uh, oh, Gene, the storied uh, Chicago Cubs uh, baseball season, regular season. Oh, yeah. Do a, like, uh, tribute to the 1988 team because that's the last time they won. I don't know. But the people in Chicago are kind of, uh, they're a little worried. Well, I mean, is it going to be an extra five bucks, ten I'm bucks? Late. It's got to be five I'm bucks, late. right? Oh yeah, I would think like six ninety nine a month. I don't know. But All right. We'll just figure that out. And then, uh, since you're talking about uh, uh, Iowa wrestling, did something Iowa. good happen? Yes, they beat Minnesota, and and we, I already said that they won the Big Ten regular season championship, and uh, they're ranked number one. So, uh, oh, you know what? How about this? So the the national title, the NCAA wrestling tournament, is at uh, Viking Stadium. That's how many oh, yeah. people they expect to be there. Well, <laughs> I, don't, I don't think they're gonna have seventy thousand oh, people, right? Oh, you look out! Wait till Saturday night. Oh, oh yeah. okay, okay. They'll All have right. At least forty thousand. Hey, Iowa wrestled one time uh, two years ago, two or three years ago, in their football stadium, and got I believe fifty-five thousand people there. But don't you? And that was just wow. regular season match. So yeah. Ed yeah. McMahon, or no, no, not Ed McMahon. Uh, Vince McMahon. Wow. The uh, NCAA wrestling and Iowa, from what I've been hearing from all the guys on TV, they said they, they expect twenty thousand Iowa fans there. So uh, that's a holy, cool. holy God. Yeah. This so, is a big deal. So good job, wow, Minnesota. Gene. Embrace yourself for against what the Hawkeyes. It's gonna be great. Gene, oh is is there like a is there like a nightly uh, sports highlight wrestling uh, hour yeah. on the the Big Ten well, Network? <laughs> yeah, they have the big show at the end, but they cover all the matches. They show them live. They show the full matches. So, uh, yeah, Iowa Minnesota is a full match. 
And then when they get to the Big Ten or when they get to the NCAA, it's on ESPN Friday night and Saturday. Wow, big so time. He, his fans caught up. Oh, yeah. So, Gene, so Gene as a uh, rabid wrestling fan, I watch even what? Uh, what what's the uh you know how everyone says you gotta keep your eyes down the field when you're a quarterback and all this stuff and uh you know move move in the pocket all the, what what's what's some tips for uh wrestling? Well, I will go right from the top. Dan Gable, who goes to all the matches, he wears a hat that says, "And I will re wrestle." Oh yeah, we do tape. <laughs> and he has a statue outside their arena, and it says, "No stalling." So when you wrestle at Iowa, you're pushing ahead and you're getting pulled. Could you get three points for a victory, four points for a major decision, eight? <coughs> you get five for uh, if you win by uh, 15, and then you get six if you pin the guy. So we're not settling for three points. Score. Push mm, forward. All right. Ah. P- p- push forward. Okay. Wisconsin's got a really good team. We got that. All right. Well, there you go. That's uh, don't, don't, hopefully not everyone leaves at once uh, now that we're done with the wrestling talk. All right, do you, well, Gene, do you keep the sound on? Yes, I do. Okay, Remember there you go. Iowa, you know, when I wrestles, I do watch with the sound on. Other schools wrestle, then I don't have the sound on. Anymore. Well, you know, G- uh, Gene is enjoying when he has the sound on. That you know? is rare I, <laughs> for a sporting I've never event. Watched the Super Bowl with the sound on. Yep. Cubs games, I don't turn the sound on. Oh, well. All right, well, Gene, we're gonna start with the news. Well, we're gonna do some news. Not a lot. Not I'm stretching it a little bit, Gene. Not a whole lot going on okay. these days, well, Gene. The weather is beautiful. And I, I mean, like, hey, by the way, I saw a sting Thursday. Pretty great. I was like right up front. He wrote a musical, and it wasn't great. But seeing him in person in it was pretty cool. Oh, it was a musical. It wasn't like a concert. Yeah, it was based on no. It was called the last. The last shipyard, about a shipyard that was closed in the Navy. Oh, Jesus. I think it was at, no, Jesus. Northern Ireland. Jesus it Christ. Was Broadway and uh, the band said, no, thank you. Really? So they revamped it. He so it. is the music all like folk music and yeah, stuff like that? Yeah. Wow, people yeah. didn't dig it? Well, What's wrong with it? If Sting was in it, no. Yeah. Well, he plays him as like a 14-year-old boy and everyone's he like, get off the no, stage, no. old man. All right. Well, how about a hey, uh, sting? How about a uh, musical about the police? Huh? Yeah. How about that? That would be cool. That would be great. Gee, why did the police uh, break up? Sting was getting tired of uh, splitting the paychecks five ways. Uh, there's only three people in the police. No, there. Are. Yeah. But yeah, and then and then uh, they did get back together and toured uh, like ten years ago, and I saw. Them. But yeah, <laughs> but Sting's like, hey, wait a second. I write all the music. I sing. Uh, yeah. I'm the good. I'm the good looking one. I don't need you to. Yeah. yeah. Anyway. Gene, you uh, you always see these musicians like their third or fourth or eightieth time around on right, tour. Right. You, what when's like the newest like you know the youngest people under thirty? When's the last person you paid money to see someone under thirty perform oh my God. music? Uh, well, Justin Bieber tickets just went on sale. He's gonna be. <laughs> He's at almost tickets. 30 now these days, isn't he? Yeah, I looked at tickets and I said, no thanks. Probably, uh, uh, well, first off, I haven't. I don't think. But Billie <laughs> Eilish, that young teen up, I, I, uh, would, I would consider seeing her. I almost, uh, she was at the Greek last year, and I almost thought about going, but then I came and I can't take it. I guess I was with my niece. I don't even know if my niece likes it. All right. Well, who knows? No, I probably, probably it'd be hard pressed to have seen someone under 40. Well, it's easier. It's easier when you, it's more fun when you know the words, you know? Probably, okay, the the, uh, youngest person I've seen in concert is uh, Eddie Vedder. How old is he? He's got to be getting close. I thought you were going to say Eddie Vedder like in 99 or something like that. uh, No, you meant in 2019. Jeez. All right. Well, most of the people I see are in their 70s. Something young. All those guys, they look like they're young. Yeah. Well, it gives you hope, right? Hopefully, you'll be rocking and rolling. I want to go see the Eagles. They went to the Eagles. Miles Garrett, what a dude. I mean, 
Unless I'm wrong. Well, Gene, that's the first story uh, for uh, the show. Uh, that's how dire things are right now, Gene, when uh, Miles Garrett is the uh, the top. Why do we even have to waste time on the story? But, but, but what, else are we gonna, like, what else are we going to talk about? The, uh, the XFL? Yeah. Oh, I did watch a little bit. I haven't watched one second. I haven't watched one second of the American I, I, bubble, yeah. football, whatever. Uh, but yes, Gene, we're gonna start with Miles Garrett. He has been well, reinstated. My, Mike Tomlin even showed up. Following Mike. this suspension my. that took him off the field for the end of the 2019 season, right. he met with the league office on Monday. Still says that Mason Rudolph said the N word to him before he ripped off his wrong. helmet and proceeded to uh, assault him with it. This is definitely. I I would do. This would be a civil thing, wouldn't he? Would you? I mean, if if Miles Garrett wants to keep saying this, if if Mason Rudolph says it's not true, take him, this is a libel. Well, this is the definition of libel, isn't it? I uh, suppose so. Well, Gene, I'm not I'm not a lawyer. I I, I know plenty of them, so uh, I say uh, this is he's crossed the line. I just don't know how it can be true because nobody else is backing him up. Well, there are 21 other guys on the field. According to the NFL, there's no recording of it. But uh, how, hey, how about we go through all of uh, Miles Garrett's games and uh, we listen to his audio. I, I'm sure he maybe dropped the N word sometime in his recording. So let's not uh, let's not play that game. Yeah. How about that? And uh, as you said, Mike Tomlin, yeah, the coach for the uh, Steelers, stood up for uh, Mason Rudolph. I'm sure Mike uh, Tomlin loves having to uh, defend this uh, cracker second-string quarterback, too. I'm sure he loves uh, wasting yeah. his time and energy on you, this. You can understand if it's Tom, a Tom Brady, you're kind of saying maybe you just stand up for him because you're, he's the – they have no reason to back up Mason Rudolph. Yeah, he's going to be cut like next year. It doesn't matter. Could be. Oh, yeah, because Ben's going to be back. Yeah, yeah Ben Roethlisberger be should be back. Uh, and uh, so, yeah, uh, Miles, uh, you know, maybe it's best to move on when Uncle Tomlin doesn't even have your back on this one, okay? Wow. <laughs> All right, there you go. Oh, my God. I wonder if that's the first time someone said that. <laughs> oh, maybe. <laughs> maybe. Maybe the last time, too. Yeah. All right. Uh, so let's all move on. Let's all move on. What, how long, much longer is this all going to take? All right, well, oh, look at my according, oh, thank you. according Happy to Happy President's Day to everybody. And yeah, there is a president from Texas, Mr. Bush. Your regular, uh, oh, what's the president? Our current president, I believe, is getting into town tonight. I think. And, oh, yeah. Uh, He's not coming, coming out here to give a pep talk or, or rally the troops so he doesn't lose California by 3 million votes. He's coming to raise money. I think he's doing a fundraiser at someone's house in Beverly Hills or something. I mean, something like that. Your house, Gene? Uh, no, Let, let's I, stop playing coy. He would not. The money, if I saved up or if I gave him all the money, I was, oh, maybe I'd get a handshake out of it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He'd, be like, uh, he'd be like, what's up with this Cubs guy? Yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> Um, all right, well, Gene, uh, yeah. we'll, we'll stick in Ohio. According to the Cincinnati Inquirer, the panel that met in Columbus, Columbus turned down several petitions repeat regarding condition. Anyways, the whole point is uh, medical marijuana in Ohio oh. is uh, legal now. It is? Uh, yes, apparently, oh, according great. to the story. Great. And I, I'm all for it, by the way. I've never used it with animals, but I would legalize it. Well, Gene, you, you have to, you know, if it's very similar to Los Angeles, when I, because when I got here, you know, you had to, you know, go to see a doctor and all that stuff, one of these weed doctors that basically saw you for uh, literally 30 seconds and uh, asked you what was wrong and you pretty much just could make any, uh, like, oh, I got arthritis. Yeah. I got arthritis. I'm here for screenwriting. I got bad arthritis. Yeah. I, I don't like taking pills. So like, oh, okay. All right. You got, uh, you got 80 bucks. Yeah. Okay. All right. Here you go. On your way. Yeah. Um, but uh, apparently, uh, people were trying to uh, claim being a Browns or Bengals fan 
to get prescribed uh, medical marijuana. Help help them with their blues. Yeah. It's uh, but that is not uh, that's not gonna fly. It's tough to let them live life because well, I mean, living in Ohio can't be really super easy. I mean, I'm from Iowa, so that. Place well, Ohio seems like a lot more depressing place than uh, Iowa and yeah, Wisconsin. Iowa. You, you always hear about these crazy rape cases coming out of Ohio, right? I mean, uh, is it just me? Yeah, maybe. Unless you know something. Oh, isn't that guy that kept those those girls kidnapped for like 20 years? He was from Ohio, right? I'm sure, I'm sure there's a couple yeah, that's been from Ohio. Uh, outside Cleveland somewhere. And then they oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. All right. Well, Gene, uh, bad news for Miles Garrett. Maybe he could use a, Maybe he could use a blunt. <laughs> Who am I to judge All right. others? Right. Uh, unless, All right. Although I did judge Miles Garrett, he's in the wrong. Unless he was right, but from what I, from the evidence I've heard so far, hey, hey, Gene Mason Rudolph said your hat is bigger. Right, right. He said your hat, your helmet is bigger. Yeah, there you go. He just so misheard that, it. He just misheard it. Right. Your hat, your helmet is bigger. So. All and, right. Uh, All right. Back up what I said. All right. Chain, Chain's a man of action. He's not there just. He's not just so talk. Job, All right. Uh. Well, Gene, uh, former New York Jets pass rusher, Mark Gastineau. Yeah. Remember Ma- Mark Gastineau? Yeah, the sack again. Told. Said, I think he's got a lot of help. I think he's got. Told help. ESPN's Rich uh, Simony that he feels he was cheated. Out of the NFL single season sack record more than 18 years ago after Michael Strahan's sack of the final game of the 2001 season, similarly with help with Brett Favre. Brett Favre just laid down. Famously laid down like a dog. I was watching that game, I think, possibly. I was watching that game. Yeah. Uh, Gassino, now uh, 63. Is my, oh, is uh, my mic not doing something right? Why, is it not loud enough or what? Oh, thank you, um, Mike. Uh, All right. Uh, Maybe I'm too far away. Hello. Uh, see, so he was. Just a... talk out loud. That that will fix it. All right. Said he was inspired after hearing a recent interview with Pete Rose, who petitioned Major League Baseball to for reinstatement to correct the wrongs of the past. He's also battled colon cancer. Oh. Actually, I'm not talking. So you can't see, it, see my mouth here. I just went like this. No, nah, I think you're just like lower or something like that. Okay. Maybe I'm like too high. Check, 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 check. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, hello. Wow. All right. So, here, let me. And if you can't hear me, consider it a blessing. Well, listen, listen to the okay. podcast. So. Yeah, yeah. I'll listen to the podcast. All right. So, Mark asked to know he's uh, on his way out. And, um, yeah, trying to, uh, trying to get that season, uh, sack, sack record. Okay. Go ahead. I'm just, okay. Closer doesn't help. I'll just, I'm just going to go like this. All right. Well, listen, all I can say is listen to the podcast, all right? And, uh, we'll fix it for next week. Yeah. Um, so, uh, yeah. I'll be good, I'll be good on the podcast on this. This one is it. Yeah. This is just, we're just doing this. For the podcast, not for anything. Okay. All right. Well, how cl- closer doesn't help, but then you, we're cracking you up. I mean, how how does how does that well, work? That's, that's you, Bob. <laughs> All right. Um. Well, Gene. Uh, again, Mark Gassino. Well, a little little sore for this uh, the sack season record, all this stuff. By the way, he didn't really say anything. He said he was uh, happy for uh, Michael Strahan at the time in 2001. Now he's uh, dying of colon cancer, and he's all. Uh, He's all uh, hurt over it. Yeah. Gene, I think he's just jealous that he's not h- hosting uh, Good Morning America. All right. Oh. I should use your mic. Hello. Okay. Oh. Okay. Uh, all right, we're hold trying. On. We're trying. See, this is not. 
This isn't the actual show. This is just the run through. Like Saturday Night Live does yeah. the run through. Alright, so, um, anyways, uh, and Jay, can you imagine it, uh, live, you know, live from Times Square, Elizabeth Vargas and Mark Gassineau? Okay, alright, Jane, you can still, this is still a podcast, you can still. No, you, it, uh, what was the question? Alright, Jane. I, Mark Gassineau is the top one. All right, Gene. We we got we we got three people watching the show. All right, and we got more listening to the podcast. So let's 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 focus on the podcast. All right. Um. Okay. All right. And then Gene, uh, we're hearing that Matt Stafford might get um traded from the Detroit Lions. Well, what are you talking about? The Bears. The Bears would want him. You know, the, would you wouldn't want the bear, uh, no, Mart- I don't think they would pay that money. They don't, <coughs> I don't think they could afford to pay him. All right, well, who knows? What do you think? Would you want him? Well, I think if the uh, the Bears, well, no, I think if the Lions traded him, I think they would, uh, if, if the Lions traded him. I think they'd be very, uh, you know, he wasn't, he wasn't, he wasn't, um, I mean, he was out most of this year, right? And they, like, right. were terrible, but he's gotten them to the playoffs, like, a couple of years. So, I think once he's gone, uh, I think the Lions will be uh, very, very sad Yeah, yeah. not to have him. See? Oh, and coming from a Bears fan out there, no thanks. And I agree. No. I mean, they already, they have. All right. Let let uh, what's his name ruin him for another year before he gets fired. All right. Uh, so we're gonna move over to uh, baseball, wow. including some uh, new rules. I think this is a disastrous week because Rob Manfred, he couldn't have been more clueless. He was an. I mean, it was so. I was not only disappointed, but I was glad I wasn't related to him. Yeah, that's right. Uh. But the, and then the rules. What the hell? Well, there's no trial period. So, so one of the biggest rules is that a reliever either has oh, to face yeah, three pitchers, or I'm sorry, three batters, or uh, last for the end of the inning, or to the end of the inning, whichever comes first. And uh, I mean, that's that's kind of drastic. I think. I mean, I I think like it might be a good rule ultimately. So we're not having like a billion uh, changes. You know, we're you know we're not getting like four pitchers, you know, in an inning. Yeah. Uh, but is it kind of a drastic change? Can we like maybe do spring training with this rule first or something like that? I mean, I guess we that's gonna happen, I mean, but. Uh, yeah. Who's the worst offender? Not Joe Madden. Joe Madden well, is the right guy. Give the guys a chance, right? <laughs> yeah, I like to give them a bunch of chances. So. Yeah. Uh, all right. So I guess uh, spring training will be starting up uh, pretty quick. So well, we'll I, see what happens. Yeah. And then, and then, uh, what about the rule? Oh no, the new rule, the three batter. I, I will see. They gotta do something. They're desperate. Well, they should get a new commissioner while they're at it. Rob Manfred, he should be forced to resign after last night's press conference. All right, uh, interview. All right, well, we'll talk about uh, that in a second. Oh, but okay. uh, speaking of Joe Madden, oh, ESPN had a long story. Oh, hey, you know what? About Joe Madden. Joe Madden has a restaurant he opened right outside Wrigley. Last year, it opened last summer. Gone. Oh, really? Yeah. Did he close it or did... I uh... think so. Him and his partner. Because who's going to go to Madden when he's not even there? And then I think they probably sold it to someone else because it's prime location. Dang. Yeah. Well, who opened... First of all, uh, I've always heard that having a restaurant is like one of the worst investments yeah. you can ever do. So uh, that, that that's why he's managing baseball. That's why not... Not 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 a restaurant manager. Don't open one in Anaheim, Joe. Um, <laughs> all right. Well, there was a uh, long ESPN uh, story about um, Joe Madden, and a couple uh, quotes here. He said he had come to the realization that he didn't. Let's talk about 2019. He said he came to the realization that they didn't want to return to Chicago while the 2019 season was still ongoing, wow. regardless of the outcome. Listen, I love Joe Madden, 
I do. And I love Theo. Don't talk badly about each other. Don't you needed each other to get a World Series, so don't talk bad, please. Uh Bygones, Joe, Bygones? Joe did not want to go back to Chicago. Feeling is completely mutual, Joe, yeah. for, for a lot of folks. Uh, philosophically, Theo needed to do what he needed to do separately. At some point, I began to interfere with his train of a thought a little bit. And it's not that I'm hard-headed. I'm inclusive. But when I started there, 15, 16, 17... I was pretty much my it was pretty much my methods. Then all of a sudden, after eighteen, going into nineteen, they wanted to change everything. Wow. How did how did we get here? How about uh, yeah, uh, Joe? Like uh, they wanted to change the fact that the games were five hours long <laughs> on a Tuesday. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Want to but, spice things up a little bit. Right. Put a statue of him up outside. Now, he, he, I, I don't know. They got a statue of, of Harry Carey, for goodness sake. Let's get Joe up there. Oh, Joe, love you. Thank you. All right. Well, speaking about the Cubs, Chris Bryant he was is, interviewed. I know. I listened to it. Uh, said the Astros cheating scandal was worse than steroids. Yeah. Good for you, Chris. And, uh, Gene, we've had a rash of uh, players coming out and uh, bashing the uh, Astros. Astros, they should just be banned. Or make them, I don't know. Well, I would have made them give up their title. And then I I don't even want to hear from them anymore. Because every time they talk, they say something stupid. Right? Yeah. Well, uh, you know, Gene, like, uh, I've done a complete uh, 180. Oh, or 360? 360 is or, what or, is the trap everyone falls for, and it means you, you're, you're right back in the beginning because the circle is 360 right. degrees. 180 is a complete turn. 180. I've done a complete 180, Gene, yeah. and uh, I was on record. I was on uh, recording saying oh. that uh, no big deal. Who cares? They still have to hit the ball, blah, blah, blah. Uh, but obviously, I'm not a uh, Major League Baseball player. Right. And uh, if all these guys seem to be pretty pissed off at the uh, Astros, then obviously um, it's a pretty big deal. And now it pretty much seems like baseball did a half-ass investigation, including giving all the players immunity right off the bat to talk. You're so true. So that why give those cheating lying bastards immunity and. Hey, listen, if you got Mike Trout speaking out against you, you effed up big time, right? And we're still not clear how deeply Major League Baseball went into the uh, the buzzer system. They did. They just, because, because Rob Manfred said, well, they gave him immunity, and why would they lie to us? Because you're an idiot, Rob. And they... they because you didn't want to admit that the, yeah. it was pretty systematic. Right. We got a guy in Oakland saying that uh, he was asked if he wants to take part and listen to the signals, and he said no. So uh, it doesn't sound like everyone on the team uh, was using the system. Um, what else? Uh, not good, Gene. Terrible. Not good. This it's. <laughs> I'm just I'm thankful they didn't beat the Cubs because that would have been so upset. But now I feel bad for the Dodgers. No, Astros. Yeah, I'll never count me out as a future potential fan ever. Well, and then what's going to happen? Are they going to have to keep all of these players for as long? Like Altuve, is anyone going to take Altuve ever I again? I, I hope Altuve lasts two fifty this year. I and then that would really gosh, if that'd be pretty ironic. Year, if he has a great year, then that's going to be so disappointing. Yeah. Yeah. They should trade Altuve to the Dodgers. Oh, and then uh, there's other theories saying that, uh, you know, maybe baseball didn't want to crack down too hard on this because every team was basically uh, doing a method of this. I mean, who knows? I know. So, uh, I'll, hey, Chris, Chris Bryant, by the way, buddy. Yeah. Uh, let, let's, let's, let's check out your uh, – your, your <laughs> check out the hallway – from uh, your your what what do you call it the dugout? Wait a Let's check out your setup, your your AV setup on the uh, the hallway for the dugout for the Cubs. Cubs are Americana at its finest. 
they even how many how many teams still have troughs in their record? <laughs> Jesus Christ. I, I you know they have urinals, but they also have troughs. I always use the trough because that's how I was raised. Just in case you want everyone in the uh, restroom to see your uh, genitalia, you're, you're free to do. Hey, I'm not saying you have to do it, but well, uh, how often you gonna you're get, free to do it. I mean, I you don't see that too often, so you got to take advantage. And Chris Bryant, I hope he stays with the Cubs. Now he wants. Uh, I so, he has to right because he lost arbitration. Yeah, but I mean they're talking about trade now. So. All right. And then, Gene, uh, did you uh, happen to watch the NBA All-Star game watched, last night? Uh, no, I didn't. Okay. All right. I, watched, I had some of the pregame on, but, again, I didn't have the sound on. So uh, I, I would have liked to hear Jennifer Hudson, Chaka Khan, uh, not well-reviewed, not well-reviewed. Did you? I did not watch the game. Okay, I didn't either. Although a lot of people were saying it was uh, entertaining. Oh, I was at Cirque du Soleil yesterday it was that they're under the big top at dodger stadium fantastic so they set up this circus tent at dodger stadium and they're there all winter so they're there for like four months and i went to that show that's what i was doing oh it's really good okay yeah to each his own yeah um <laughs> great. uh well, Gene, you know what wasn't great? Uh, the uh, the celebrity, well, I shouldn't say celebrity, but the All Star Dunk Contest, oh, like which was on Saturday. I was at. Uh, I went to '80s night downtown. So they had the bands, all the '80s bands. They had uh, Wang Chung. Yeah. Two guys, Wang Chung yeah. tonight. They had the Romantics. What I like about you. Oh my gosh, Drama Rama. Uh, the Violent Femmes. I saw MC Hammer. Jesus. Well, there was a whole lineup. Uh, big Country. They, uh, they have all these bands that have one or two big hits in the 80s, and then they try them out there, rotate them around. So, no, I didn't see it. Okay. A busy weekend in the entertainment <laughs> Yeah, Gene. Gene um, you love the 80s. What were you yeah, say? I've been to, well, this was their ninth edition, and I think I've been to the past I, five. I think you were too busy during the 80s working, and now yeah. uh, you're trying to catch up. Oh, yeah, because I never saw these bands live. So good. Yeah. But now they're old. I mean, they, when you saw them, they're hard drop. Like, uh, oh, I saw a flock of seagulls. Remember that guy? He used to have the crazy hair. Like, um, uh, yeah, I did think so. completely bald. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, uh, too bad. Yeah. Yep. All right, well, Gene, uh, we're going to, uh, t- 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 uh, what do you call it? Go back to sports here oh, yeah, for yelling. a minute. What did he do? Uh, well, he participated in the All-Star Dunk Contest. He did? did and he uh, so, yeah, he held the bar b- above his head, and then someone jumped over him and dunked the oh. basketball. Oh, there, there was a Milwaukee Bucks guy in the Slam Dunk Contest. Yeah, a white so, guy. Yeah, the white guy. Didn't he also dress up as a white guy from White Men Can't Jump? Oh, yeah. I think, yeah, like Woody Harrelson. Yeah. He did. Well, there's a picture right there. Yeah, so he did. Oh, really? Oh, there he is. Um, I didn't see it. Oh, wow. Yeah. Well, uh, listen, Gene, I don't like uh, our MVP. Um, just coming off knee surgery, by the way, knee a broken oh, kneecap. Right, right. Uh, doing these uh, props, these props for these dunk contests. Yeah. That don't mean for, well, first of all, for a white guy. How about Giannis? Where's Giannis, huh? How about that? Can we just how about we just take it easy here, huh? Yeah, don't even play the rest of the year. They have already got the number one seed wrapped up in the East. Uh boy, oh boy, Milwaukee. Oh please. I mean I, I Lakers, whatever. Yeah, I know it'd be a good story, but man, I'm I hope Milwaukee wins. That would be so cool. So great. Yep. All right. So all I'm saying is that listen, uh, Christian, I know you're the uh, you're yeah. a superstar, yeah. and uh, you know it's fun to go around all these cities and bang all these chicks and everything like that. But uh, let's uh, yeah, let's that. focus on baseball, okay? Bang, bang, all, bang all these chicks. That's, that's, oh wow, there's all right. Sure. Well, Gene, we're gonna end it uh, with a uh, story uh, about uh, Minnesota. Unfortunately, Great uh, t- the home of the NCAA wrestling. <laughs> yeah, there you go. It's going to be 20,000 Iowa fans and the finals on Saturday night will be sold out. I bet there'll be over, there'll be close to 60,000 people there. 
Well, make sure you get your uh, little baby a uh, Minnesota Badgers onesie. Yeah. Because uh, Target, a Minneapolis-based company, admits uh, a onesie it carried in some stores misidentified the mascot for the largest university in its home state. The Minneapolis-based retail blah blah apologized to University of Minnesota Golden Golfers fans Tuesday for carrying a maroon onesie with the words Minnesota Badgers, the nickname of Big Ten rival Wisconsin. Uh, they're available at four Minneapolis area stores. Target said two were purchased and the remaining 22 were returned to the vendor. Gene, everyone's trying to get that badger action, all right? Everyone's trying to get that badger action. I, yeah. We not think that this would uh, get through? Yeah. I mean, is this trying to, like, do propaganda? Trying yeah. to turn all the, you know, grandma going to the store, doesn't know anything about sports? Oh, the badgers, get that for little Lucy? All of a sudden, uh, you know, she's a uh, Minnesota fan? Golfer fan? Mm-hmm. Is, is this the dirty tricks we're pulling now on the across the Mississippi River? <laughs> Huh, Minnesota? Yeah. Hey, what about, should we, oops, I guess, I was going to say, shouldn't we congratulate Brett Bielema, the former Badger coach? Uh, did, State did he get hired? Uh, by no, them? he did. Oh, I don't think they gave him an interview. <laughs> oh, he God. made himself available for a job they didn't care to hire so, him. So, what, he, so he texted some junior reporter who uh, wrote it up, and that yeah. that's how the story even got to. Why was there a story? Why was there a story? Well, because he was going to be the Michigan State. All right. Well, maybe he can coach the Minnesota Badgers. All right. There you go. Way to bring it back around. Yeah. Bring it. You brought it. That one you brought 360. That right? was that was a 360 right there. Because you brought it all the way back as opposed to yep. a different pick. All right, Gene. A uh, pretty slim... Newsweek. I mean, I guess we could start talking about golf. They had a golf tournament in L.A. Oh, yeah, Did yeah. you go to that? How about you start going to golf tournaments, Gene? Uh, I, it was Some... in Pacific Palisades, and uh, well, I didn't even know who. Did Matt Kuchar win? I don't know. I don't watch it either. But, Gene, if you're going to be hanging out with 80-year-olds, why not uh, they be golf Yeah. Golf players? Huh? I know Tiger kind of struggled. Kind of. It was I guess. Horrible. I don't think he won. No. Um, but, yeah. All right, Jim, we'll try to get your uh, mic fixed uh, for next week. Hey, less of me and more of you. Always a good thing. But uh, listen to the uh, podcast, and uh, the audio should be fine. I don't know what's going on with the broadcast. So. All right, so for... It's because Trump's in, uh, coming to L.A., and uh, the airways have been affected. <laughs> Let's not get political okay. on the show. All right. All right. All right, so... I can. Wow. Good job by you, though. That was excellent.